getting into cybersecurity is your goal for 2026, here's a pathway to do it in GRC. Step one is fundamentals and education. Everyone loves to skip this step, but if you want to work in GRC, you have to understand the fundamentals of cybersecurity and IT. One way I do that is through a college degree. Now, a college degree isn't required, but I do highly recommend it, because if you think about it, you're going up against people who have a degree, certifications, and experience, and so you want to be the most competitive candidate that you can be. Another way I do that is through entry-level certifications, perhaps alongside your degree. You can start with IAC2 certified in cybersecurity for fundamentals and vocabulary, and then go on to Security Plus, which I still think is the gold standard for most cybersecurity paths. And while I think that Security Plus should be your main focus in terms of certification, also consider certifications in cloud technology like AWS, Azure, or Google Cloud, and gaining AI literacy, because let's be honest, cloud and AI are both the present and future of this field. Step two is learning the applicable frameworks. Every GRC program is going to look a little bit different, but they all rely on a framework. The key is choosing a framework that aligns best with the industry you're trying to work in. For roles in the federal government, contractors, and many private companies, NIST is huge. Specifically, the cybersecurity framework and the risk management framework. And I recommend that you start with these because they're free to access online. There are other frameworks too, but the point here is not to memorize frameworks. It's about learning to interpret the right framework and applying it to real systems. Step three is applying the knowledge. This is where a pathway into GRC gets a little bit tricky because experience really does matter. And it makes sense because employers want to know that you actually know what you're talking about when it comes to applying governance, risk, and compliance across an organization. One way to do that on your own is through projects. You could try conducting a mock risk assessment or build your own risk register for a sample organization or write your own high-level documentation that will be applicable to an information system. And you can find the requirements for these types of documentation in the framework that you chose. The important thing to remember about projects is that they aren't about impressing interviewers. They're about applying your knowledge in ways that allow you to speak intelligently because you've actually done the work and know what you're talking about. Now, step four is gaining formal experience. The hard truth is that most people don't start in GRC. They pivot into it. And that's true from my own experience. I started in a feeder role and I recommend that you do too. Some common roles include being an IT support or help desk, being an IT specialist or junior system administrator, or do what I did and go through security operations and be a SOC analyst or instant responder. Bottom line, the path into GRC is isn't quick, it's strategic. But if you like structure, creating and maintaining documentation and understanding security at scale, then GRC might be for you. I'll be sharing exactly how I got into GRC in another video. So in the meantime, let me know if you have any questions and follow for more.